Hello, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, welcome. We're going to do a general read for you guys today. Looking at your current energy or your current situation. The desires that you may have. The outcome. What's working for you. What you need to be aware of. We'll clarify all those cards. And then at the end, we will pull three more cards around this read, just to make sure that we have everything on the table that you may need. So Sagittarius, let's figure out what's going on for you. <clears throat> Page of Swords. For some of you, it could be head in the clouds. Uh, delay, that type of thing. Uh, the hope or your desire is the star card. Now the star talks about hopes and healing as well. <clears throat> the outcome is the seven of swords. Things may not be going according to plan. The king of swords is what is working for you. This is somebody that is very clear in their judgment. <clears throat> what you need to be aware of. Oh, no pain, no gain. So let's start to clarify. Page of Swords, Five of Wands, Nine of Wands. Well, it seems that this delay or this setback uh, is coming from not knowing the direction in which to put your efforts because they seem to be all confrontational to some degree. It's like there's little hiccups in each direction that you try to take. Um, <clears throat> And with the Nine of Wands, get that it's kind of getting a little old and a little frustrating. The Star. Page of Cups. King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, very nice. So somebody. Somebody. <laughs> let's go with you. Is looking for that once in a lifetime connection. That King of Pentacles, that Queen of Pentacles, that divine match where you're both on the same page and you're both feeling that this is where you both should be. The Seven of Swords, Tower, Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> Things may not go according to plan. You may have planned this all out in your head and you're like, yep, this is the way it's going to happen and, you know, it's going to be kind of movie style and, you know, everything's going to wrap up nicely in this perfect little rainbow and everybody's, I'm going to feel, I'm going to feel great. Well, the tower speaks of clarity uh, for a moment, like false beliefs and all of that stuff get torched. Lightning makes and sheds a lot of light on things really quick. The Ten of Cups, again, talks about this commitment. But in the Nine of Pentacles, I see it's about you. It's about one of you, either them or you. Energies, this could be either way. But I see it being solitary. I don't see it as like a... You know, <clears throat> this is what I want out of it. It's not like a, um, like the king and queen togetherness. Ooh, Knight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Knight of Wands is your energy. Um, with the King of or King of uh, Swords, this is somebody that is as you're using your mind to really think this through in how to take action towards or move towards learning more about how to use that intuitiveness, how to go deeper and feel more spiritually connected. It's like awakening the wisdom within. The Three of Swords is what's working what you need to be aware of. Well, we have the Chariot, the Death card, and the Devil. <clears throat> it 
it hurts. Be aware of the pain. Be aware that once you feel the pain, you're going to want to run away from it. You're going to want to run away from it. You're going to want it to change. And that can be disastrous with the devil here. This can be a very, very common form of dealing with this. It's just, uh, I want the pain to change. I'm going to run away. And I'm not really going to... Because it's toxic. Instead of actually learning about what it is about that, which is the Page of Pentacles High Priestess, that is causing that repeat pattern. The last three cards. Wow. Eight of Wands, Two of Cups, Queen of Cups. Once you get a hold of that, things start to move very quickly. There is, so like this delay that you're experiencing with this uh, page of swords resolves itself and becomes the eight of wands. And this new start, this, this connection that you're seeking starts to materialize and fill you from within. <clears throat> Putting you feeling, you know, wonderful and it's like, I look at the Queen of Cups here, and she's sort of half in, half out of this water. And it's like, yeah, I can feel all of these things. And it's kind of like, she's balanced. Sagittarius, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully you all have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. For us Canadians, it's July 1st. But best of luck this week. Sagittarius. Hope everything goes well for you. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or thumbs down. And for those that have not subscribed, I invite you to do so. Best of luck. We'll talk to you next time, Sagittarius. Stay safe.